gender inequality does not just affect our patients. Women are still underestimated and undervalued in cardiology. Despite gender parity among medical students, only 21% of cardiology fellows in US and 16% in UK are women. Here you can find just some family planning considerations that a female cardiology must take in consideration during her career. While representation in general cardiology or echocardiography has risen slightly, less than 5% of women are interventional cardiologists. Women leak out of academia before reaching leadership positions. Even if women make up the majority of medical graduates, however, they comprise less than 43% of female PhD graduates and less than 28% of female researchers. Women cardiologists globally face daily challenges. And you see here last week through a Twitter poll, we asked about the main ones. As you can see, among 561 answers, unconscious bias favoring men reached 40%, childcare responsibility being the second most frequent choice. Other suggested reasons from the audience were um, asymmetric home responsibilities between men and women, lack of effective mentorship and role models for women, sex bias favoring men in peer review processes for a publication and award achievement, and attrition of female academics at higher levels in the academic hierarchy. Even if not consciously endorsed, uh, discrimination still runs rampant for women in cardiology. Stereotypes can shape the decision of those who determine who to admit, hire, promote, fund and mentor in academic cardiology, and also influence individual cardiologists as they decide they whether uh, as they decide whether they fit in interventional or non-invasive cardiology, in research or clinical practice, or into the top leadership levels of academic cardiology. These barriers influence also the production of research. Women now surpass men as lead authors on publications, according to recent studies. But over three decades, the prestigious last positions, typical the domain of team leaders and department heads, as remain a male domain. In response to these barriers within cardiology, uh, various initiatives have been created. The Pink Ladies Project was initiated as a council under the International Young Academy of Cardiology being a new and free of membership fee international group to promote the interest of all young female doctors working in the field of cardiovascular disease worldwide. These are the countries where the pink ladies are currently active. As you can see, uh, the spider group was founded very recently. It has already a large reach. What makes Pink Lady different from the uh, other groups um, is its first aim to build a community where women who experience uh, difficulty can feel free to share their experiences and create networking. Uh, since December 2019, monthly meetings where senior and young colleagues were brought together under a virtual platform started to be held. 
and became the motor of the group. Indeed, the recruitment of talented young female researchers from across the globe has allowed the begging of many research projects that are currently under revision. The first editorial project of the group has been done during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and an inaugural paper of Pink Lady has been launched addressing several useful topics on this field, uh, such as the influence of pregnancy or COVID-19 mortality risk, uh, the incidence of cardiomyopathy from COVID-19 during pregnancy, the breastfeeding issues and also the difficulties of women working at the front line with patients. This other study from our group by Nunzia Borrelli aimed to explore female representation in leadership position of cardiology departments of university hospital in Europe between the 1st and the 15th of August uh, 2020. Out of 727 cardiology departments in 21 countries, only um, 239, which is the 33%, uh, had women heads of department. Moreover, you can see the majority of women were uh, non-interventional experts. On further analysis uh, below, of female leadership representation in published research, we observed a significant gender disparity in the number of total publications. In conclusion, we cannot combat gender bias at the individual level alone, but must change the systems to close the gap. Here are some suggestions uh, for female cardiologists and pink ladies. Build networks, collaborations, friendship. Make your voice be heard. Build a strong support team. Don't simply act like men to succeed in male gendered roles. Visible female roles, uh, female role models are needed. Promote others, give credit and take blame. Avoid toxic situations, stay calm, build bridges. And finally, be the mentor you wish uh, you had. At this uh, last slide to remember, when women support each other, incredible things happen. And thank you all for your attention.